beaches online, they look amazing. Well, I'm quite shocked. I honestly thought we'd be the only people here, but it's like a proper place. There's buses, there's camper vans, souvenir shops. Some people buy their own crosses. And this is the shop that you go to to get them. Six euros for the spike. Five euros that you hang up. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go for a spike. And we'll write a message on it. Here it is. I would say it's less of a hill, more of a mound. Yeah. Look at them all. Welcome to the Hill of Crosses in Chalet. It's not really known how this started. It's thought that it started in the 19th century um, during the uprising, but since then, lots of people who lost loved ones in the war have come and placed crosses in remembrance of them. Um, and it's a bit of a tourist spot now where yeah. lots of people come to check it out. But during the Soviet times, they weren't happy with Lithuanians coming here because it was like a throwback to the old days before Soviet times. So they used to come here and they, they tried to destroy the crosses. They bulldozed them three times. There's even talk about them diverting a river so that it all went underwater, but that never happened. But yet people came back and they, they carried down on. As well, didn't they? Yeah, there's been a few fires. Sections of it keep on burning down because of all the wooden crosses, uh, but it still keeps on going. And how many are there? About 200,000 crosses. 200,000, and we're going to add one more to that soon. And as well as crosses, people dangle rosary beads, put tiny little crosses like that. Look at them all. Have you ever seen anything like it? I haven't. And the Pope came here in 1993, and he put a cross somewhere. Um, and since then it's become like a major pilgrimage site in Lithuania. This is the one the Pope gave. It looks, yeah, it looks insane. Like it's incredulous. Every cross of every description. It's definitely worth coming here. In memory of the Czech soldiers who protected the airspace and sovereignty of Lithuania. So it says that you're allowed to put any cross that is less than three meters. But if you want to put one bigger than that, like these ones, then you need a special permit. It's 2014 by members of the Royal Air Force. Is this what you expected it to be like? Yeah, actually. Although, like, some people have said that it's a bit creepy, it has like an eerie vibe. I don't think it does. Do you? No. I just think it's really peaceful. Do the honours. Let's go up the main entrance. Did I do it? No, oh, she's doing her own because her mind weren't good enough. They were unhappy with them. Oh my god, entertainment. I got one of those for Christmas in 1981. I'm literally just walking in the mall. I have never seen so many crosses and crucifixes and rosary beads in my life. There are three Marys I can see. Maybe four. Maybe five. More down there. So many crosses that I just 
piled upon piled. It's like a religious Christmas tree. That's a good idea. You can see this one's been charred. Obviously, a fire's been around here and it's fallen literally onto that one. Well, what do you think? Head or miss? Hill or crosses? Definite hit because it's so unusual. It's like nowhere else I've ever been. It's like nowhere I've ever been either. Definitely a hit. Yeah. Right, we're going to do ourselves a challenge. We're going to try to find the cross that we placed. I don't even know whether it's on this side or that side. Have you got any idea? It's on the side. Is it? I, yeah, we walk through here. Da, 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 we're going to find it. And we'll find it. Nope. <laughs> I think it's down further. Oh, God, look how close it was. So, if you want to come find our cross, look where it is. It's underneath this one. And in between that one. There you go. How long will that last, do you reckon? Just across from it, a little chapel. Hey, Celine, it says here that this chapel was where the Pope gave his mass on the 7th of September 1993. Is it a good view? Is it worth me climbing up the steps? But I think it's a place you need to visit because photos and pictures and videos just don't do it justice. You need to be here to comprehend the scale of the place and just the sheer amount of crosses. So, I've come to a little restaurant in Cholet. I've got my Lithuanian beer. Celine's on the Prosecco. So what do you think of our day trip that we've done today? That was good. Yeah. I'd recommend it. Yeah. So we're going to have some food and then we've got a three hour train journey to look forward to when we get back. So that's it. Goodbye from Lithuania. Tomorrow we fly to Helsinki. Finland. See you there.